All right, now we have our finished haircut. Uh, as you can see, we created a layered shape, once again, that follows the bone structure. We created this layered shape that wants to flow a little bit any direction you push it. Now it's just water in the hair right now. I'm gonna choose to use Tea Tree Firm Hold Gel. The reason why I'm gonna choose that product is because I love the shine. It's got a maximum amount of hold. It's flake free. So for me, I'm gonna use about a quarter sized amount in the palm of my hand. I'm gonna emulsify it in my hands like that's my duty in life. Once again, I love it because it's got shine, it's got maximum amount of hold, it's flake free, it's got some of that tea tree, some of that mint, it's invigorating, you can refresh. And I'm just gonna gently comb it through with my fingertips. I wanna make sure that I deliver the product in a way that I'm not putting too much product in any one given area. So you'll see me re-emulsify and I'll start to just use my fingertips, move in the product through the hair. And as I know, as I feel the product start to leave my hands and start to get delivered to the hair, I'll go a little bit more hands-on, a little bit more aggressive with my application and I'll start to use the palms of my hands. I'll push the hair backwards, push it forward, move it around. And then I'll dress it in a way that they can let their hair air dry. So as I start to finish my application of product and I start to feel it get into the hair, I'm gonna use the palms of my hands. I'm gonna move the hair in a direction of where I'd want the hair to be if I was gonna let it air dry. So I like to dress this hair kind of off the face a little bit. I wanna make sure that I have enough product in the lengths towards the bottom. Keeps it pretty loose, keeps the hair up and over the ears. Um, and it's gonna have a little bit of shine to it. It's gonna have some good hold. I'll use sometimes the palms of my hands to kind of make sure that this stays behind the ears. And I'll make sure that I don't have any like little pieces doing any weird stuff down here. And this would be something that you'd be able to like set and forget. Right? Keeps that kind of like wet look, a little bit of shine, maximum amount of hold. You can press this into the bone structure as well. So you get this kind of modern lived in texture towards the bottom, a little bit of space in there. Looks good with the beard trimmed down. So he's got this really nice flow from front to back. 